Hi, I'm Kelly Hushin, the online content manager for Worldwide Business Research, which produces the Net Finance event. And I'm here with Dominic Ventura, and uh, he talked this morning about innovation and why it's so important. So Dominic, can you just start by stating your title and what you do at the organization and just a little bit about yourself? Sure, Kelly. Uh, Dominic Ventura, I'm with U.S. Bank. I'm the Chief Innovation Officer for our Payment Services Division. So I lead a team of uh, product managers and product development folks that focus on the products and services of the future emerging markets and technologies in payments uh, for the bank. Okay, great. And I think something that you said that was interesting this morning was um, when you guys had launched this department, you called it innovation, and a few days later you kind of said, hmm, it seems like everybody's using that word, so was it the right decision? But then you kind of realized that innovation um, is, a, is really a key word. And, and can you just tell us you know, what you guys define as innovation at U.S. Bank? Sure. Well, um, so when we first created the group, we 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 called it product innovation and then we saw all kinds of articles and headlines and things in the media about why innovation is important why you need to be innovative and frankly we thought maybe it was being a little bit overused um, but at the end of the day we went back to sort of the roots of what we believe innovation is which is change that delivers value and uh, we're trying to help customers solve problems they maybe didn't know existed or pain points and to us uh, delivering new products and services that solve those is change that drives value. So can you talk a little bit about what some of those problems that they didn't know they have were or some of the things that you're doing that are innovative? Just maybe a few examples of things that you've done in the past few years or the past year or so? Sure. Well, um, so one of the examples that I actually used in the presentation is um, we piloted uh, text messaging alerts for uh, bank products and we originally thought that consumers would want to know about changes to their account or about information and keep track of transactions and monitor their account. What we discovered was that being able to deliver real-time transaction alerts to consumers enabled them to have a higher confidence in the payment system and also to identify fraud, uh, surprisingly, uh, more quickly than we could even do with our technology. And so an unexpected outcome uh, was the fraud and security benefits, but the, uh, the consumer confidence was what we were hoping to achieve. Right, and I think you, you gave some kind of interesting information about other things that uh, it seems that consumers are interested in that you may not have thought they would be, which is kind of a good example of what innovation really is. Can you talk about a couple of those things that consumers you found uh, are actually interested in doing? Sure. Um, well, you know, one, one of the other examples I gave and one of the things we found um, is that uh, we introduced, we the bank introduced uh, earlier this year the ability to deposit a check by taking a picture with a mobile phone. We weren't the first to do it, we're one of the first, but at the end of the day, um, had we asked customers three years ago if you wanted to take a picture of a check and deposit it to the bank, is that something that you would want to do? I would contend that consumers would look at you uh, strange and wonder whether or not that's even technically feasible. Uh, and today, they're, they're not only doing it, they're demanding it. Uh, and so we find that to be a good example of something that folks didn't know they wanted, but now that they've seen it, they, they truly do. Anything interesting with the uh, tablets as mobile devices? Well, um, we're finding folks are interacting with those devices and they're getting more disconnected from landlines and so, or uh, regular internet. And so uh, we need to be able to figure out how to render uh, the relationship in that mode uh, rapidly because it's picking up pretty dramatically uh, in an important channel. And in terms of innovation uh, in the financial sector at large as a whole, where do you see things going? What do you think we could be looking at in, like, say, five years from now? Do you think we could be, you know, doing sort of the no wallet situation, just the, the mobile wallet, so to speak? Or do you think that's a ways away still? What, what do you think about those kinds of new emerging types of payments and other innovations in the financial sector? Sure. Well, we've been very active in the mobile payment space uh, in, uh, from, from sort of the early days of the technology, um, and there have been a number of industry activities that have occurred that begin to pave the way for more widespread mobile wallet adoption. Um, a number of phone manufacturers have said that they'll support near-field communications and secure credential management, which is very important to make that work. Um, we've got mobile carriers who have said that they'll uh, operate in the mobile payment space. And then, of course, we have a number of financial institutions, including ourselves, that have been spending time there. So the real trick is going to be whether or not acceptance for the contactless payment side takes off. 
um, or whether those payment transactions ultimately happen in a different way. So it may not be near field communication or it might be or it might be um, through other proximity types of services that occur, uh, but secure payment credentialing and payment management is going to be an important part of the puzzle. And that's why we've been spending so much time in the space. Sure, absolutely. And just kind of as an offshoot question to that, what do you think is holding up mobile payments and emerging payments or this idea of the mobile wallet? What do you think um, is kind of the hurdle that we still need to get over in order? I know you kind of just touched on that, but just to solidify it, if there's so something that you could identify as maybe the top one or the top two or three things that people are really still kind of like have to get past in order to really get there. Uh, true mobile payments, which uh, in a contactless way, are going to rely on uh, acceptance locations existing. And so today, honestly, it isn't where we need it to be for consumers to have a great experience where they can use their device wherever they want to be able to mm -hmm. use their device. And payments alone won't necessarily solve the acceptance problem. Okay. Um, I believe, in, and I think when you look at it, that other value-added products and services have to be enabled through mm -hmm. those devices, like coupons, loyalty, rewards, information, and offers. Um, and that, in combination with a retail experience, could cause the entire ecosystem to say it makes sense to invest in the infrastructure to enable that two-way dialogue to occur in a near real-time way. So it won't be just payments, but the other pieces are beginning to evolve, and so that's why we're confident that it'll eventually take off. And is there anyone you think that's doing it right right now that's maybe kind of an innovator or a leader in the space, people who are actually you know, forging ahead with this idea of emerging payments, mobile payments? I think you or one of the other presenters might have brought up you know, certain retailers where you can now do that, use your phone to pay, that sort of thing. Yeah, well, um, well, I think we're doing it right, uh, first of all. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we've been very active in the space, but um, we haven't seen uh, a fully integrated contactless experience yet. We've seen a lot of specialized sort of pilots that have then turned into more of a beta launch, um, but we're seeing some pretty interesting things in terms of location services. Um, no specific sort of names of people that have the entire thing, just because most of them have been uh, siloed off, uh, unfortunately. But those pieces coming together is just a matter of time and cooperation. Right. Well, thank you so much. I mean, innovation, it's obviously something that is very important in the net finance arena. And obviously, this whole idea of mobile payments, emerging payments, we're interested to follow that as well. So thank you so much and uh, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thanks, Kelly. Appreciate the time. All right.